That would be the first little treasure of the day. U.S. Army button. Whew. Tell you, it can be fun trying to pinpoint this with that. That's all right. Keep working. Well, it looks like I've got some kind of bivouac site here. A tent grommet. It's right over there. Army button right there. I just got this army button. Check out digging conditions here. Look at this. So it was, oh, 10, 11 inches through heavy roots. Gotta love this job. All right, maybe they lent me some money. Another relic from the bivouac. Uh, got a tooth cream, lead tube. Yeah, that always is encouraging. Whew. But the stuff is incredibly deep and incredibly hard to pinpoint. Well, hey, what do you know? They left me a weedy. And actually, it's a 1919, but it's a very worn condition. So I'm guessing uh, it was probably dropped a bit later. It's a nice airbase age coin. Those cedars are terrible on the on the coppers. Oh well, maybe there's another silver in here. That would be cool. Well, now there is an interesting non-metallic find. Big old peacoat button, and uh, whatever the object is, is still down that hole. So hopefully it'll be something good. Cool. And it's not. Some little itty bitty uh, lid top. I can see little grooves on the end. Oh well. Well, it's starting to get pretty trashy in here, which is not good. But I did manage to pull my little army buckles. Very cool. Still more treasures. Well, there's a whole different kind of button. It's that good 13 stars. It's either the pants or the, the coat button. Nice. Whew. Getting tired. Taking these deep holes is wearing me out. Well, that's two hours in the woods. I got three buttons of the U.S. Army, the 13 star, the non metal button, the belt end part. I like these, these are cool. Tent grommet, the tooth cream, whatever, one weedy, and I'll probably head back out tomorrow. Uh, well, you never quite know what to expect. That's a 27 weedy right out of here in the main trail. Hmm, no place is ever completely hunted out. Maybe there's a silver. There's always hope. There's the first weedy of the day here at the Pard. Same routine. I'm skipping anything below Zinc Penny. That was right here in the playground area. Not, deep, not even deep. There's got to be silver in here. Weedy of the number two. We'll all have to take a closer look at that later. That definitely looks like a little sterling pendant to me. That good color, good weight, doesn't feel like aluminum. Kind of interesting. Must have had a stone or something inside it. Which I didn't find. I didn't see a stone down there. Hey, maybe I got some silver finally. Whew, getting tired of wheat yet? Boy, I thought for sure that was going to be a silver the way it's coming up. Appears to be a 34. Up about 68 cents in clad. Still skipping the zinc pennies in below. And there's a lot of them in here. This is going to take some real work. And that would make four. This one's a 1957. In reasonably good condition. Just depends on where you're at. Okay, this is getting out of hand. That's weedy number five. Weedy number six. Great. Okay, looks like the rain's moving in on me a little bit. But, that is a Basketball. 
right here by the basketball court. Very weird little thing. Kind of heavy. Looks like it's a gold plate over lead. Oh well. Wow, this is out of hand. That's weedy number seven. Well, there's another oddball hunk of jewelry. It might be silver. Again, I'm going to have to get it cleaned up. So I'm fighting the rain here. It's getting ready to pour on me. Very interesting. But not a silver coin. Wow. Oh, weedy number eight. Oh, you guessed it. Weedy number nine. Hey, I've just done her something extraordinarily cool. It looks like a toy gun. So I'm going to excavate this guy very carefully, and hopefully it's all there. Nice. I can see pieces of it there. Nope. It's just the, damn, it's just the sliding cap cover. I was hoping for the whole gun. Hmm, that would have been a nice one, I think. Good detail. See, uh, the Smokey. Haven't seen one of them in a while. Okay, that just about does it for the part for today. $2.46 in clad. A few pieces of jewelry, some might be silver, I gotta take a look. And nine wheat pennies. And no silver coins. I I can't even begin to explain it. Alright, I gotta hit the road. Well, sadly, they're both junk metal. Believe that shit. And and I have a solution for the pard. It's now 15 to 20 wheat pennies I've pulled out of there. No silver coins. Why? Could it be that those houses that used to be in there were built in 1965? That in 1965 there was a lot of wheat pennies still in circulation? I have a feeling that there is no silver in there because there was nobody there before 1965. Which is a good thing because that means I'm done with the pard and I can move on to somewhere else. Now well, here we are back out in the woods and very quickly old tent grommet. Very cool. I'm going to spiral out from this see if they left any other treasures. Well, the spiral out didn't pay off for anything. A little bit farther in, I get a little tube of Penetro. That just don't even sound right. Well, it's almost certainly an airbase age artifact. I'll have to look up Penetro. Yeesh. Cool. That just pulled me a sweet little buckle here. Unfortunately, it's not embossed. Very nice. I dug it as a joke because it was hitting loud and hard like a piece of garbage. And there hadn't been a whole lot out here to dig. It's very, very noisy with little, little bits and pieces of crap. Lots of iron in here. That's very nice. Yeah, I'm not much into collecting bottles. That one can of neat. I think it's 1943. It's got the Federal Law logo, so that's period. Embossed with the guy in a cello. Yeah, I know. It's a stupid whiskey bottle. It's kind of neat. Worthless. But hey, something to show for the day. More artifacts. Head stamps dated 42. And it's right with that bottle on the tire, so I got another spot here. Definitely looks like the airbase. Very cool. Yeesh. Communications wire. I got boxes full of this crap. The only reason I'm showing you it, it's just an indication that, yeah, you're still in the right place. This is all over the airbase lands. 
So, no coins yet. Some neat artifacts. Maybe there's just something else out there for me today. Keep working it. And some days you get too much of a good thing. That's all wire. Goes on down through there. See it there. And God only knows where. Now I can hear this thing ah, peeping away at me. Yeah, I near a foundation too. All right. Well, there you go. A quite nice 1937 Buffalo. Very cool. So that is the first and only coin of today's hunt. Eh, maybe I'll get lucky. And just in case life wasn't annoying enough with all the wire and iron and slag out here, that's a clad quarter. Are you kidding me? 70 something, 71. Wow. That's just not good. Um, no. I, uh, no. I won't be putting this one on the barbecue. That's a live 45 cal. Ouch. Head stamps 41. Just not good. Uh, I'll have to find some way to dispose of that. That's a that's a little frightening. Oh wow, that hole turned out to be something else. I ended up with four live 45s. That one looks like it definitely has got potential to go off. Oops. The others, that's all corroded. That's impacted. Wow. Some kind of ammo dump. But that, that's enough to worry you right there. Oh, today is just not my day. That's another live corroded 45. Oh, fuck me. I got like five live rounds in my pocket. Uh, I'm going to have to figure something out to do with these tonight. It's a little too many to be walking around with. I got no idea how stable this thing is.